Hi guys, welcome to Make Up Your Minds Beauty channel. It's Kimmy here. I decided to do a tutorial today, a very neutral, um, natural type of look. Nothing over the top. I have got some browns in there. And I played up the eyeliner a little bit. I decided to make it a little more fun. On the bottom lash, there's some blue, and on the top lash, there's some uh, bronzy type of eyeliner. Um, and of course the lips. I did a, a, a little more of a statement lip. You can tone it down if you want. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I've already applied the primer. The first color I'm going to use is these Elme eyeshadows that I purchased at the dollar store the other day. This one here is an apricot. Oops. And it looks like just going to use a shadow brush and I want to apply this all over the lid. The next color I'm going to use is the Alme and Cinnamon. Okay, so I'm just going to use my pencil slash blending brush for the cinnamon. It's going to go in the outer corner along the lash line, corner, and then up the crease. You also want to bring it slightly along the lower lash line. And just blend it in. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is a highlight. I'm going to use this one by e.l.f. It came in the um, Get the Look kits. It's just the lightest color for the brown shadows. If you can find one like it, that'd be great. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's going to go on the brow bone bring it down. You're just going to put it in the inner corner. And under the front lashes right here. And then just blend that into the cinnamon. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is apply my eyeliner and my mascara. Um, I've actually used quite a few different eyeliners for this look. I'm going to use this one here by e.l.f. They don't have names on them, but there are names on the website. Uh, this is a, almost like a bronze color, and that's going to go across my lash line. and bring it along the bottom just slightly. The next color I'm going to use is just a basic brown. This, this one here came from the Mark Wynn's Color Workshop Christmas Collection. I'm going to apply that as close to the lash line as I, as I can. I'm also going to tight line with it slightly on the lower lash line to about halfway and then across the top lash line. Now that I got the brown on, I am going to add just a splash of color on the lower lash line. This again is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's the shimmer one. It's a blue color. And they, like I said, they have names, but they're not written on the pencils at all. And this is just going to go along the lower lash line. I'm 
I'm going to use a smudge eye sponge. You can use a smudge brush or a eyeshadow brush as well. It doesn't matter as long as you can get this thing to, or this liner to smudge slightly. And I like it because it adds a little bit of color. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using is the Mark Wins Mascara. I'm going to apply that to the top and bottom lashes. And now my eyes are done. So um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush and my bronzer. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Encyclopedia Face Edition. It comes with a blush and a bronzer. Um, the bronzer does look fairly dark. And if you apply it really dark, it will be too much. Um, I always like to start out light and then build up my bronzer and the same thing with my foundation. I'm just going to use a flat top brush. For me, I like to blot it down where I want it to be and then blend it. And make sure you hope have the bronzer work up into your hairline so it's not like a abrupt line. And then I'm going to apply the blush, just get a little on, and then to the apples of your cheek and back. this encyclopedia is it has some highlights in it and I'm going to use the highlight as well. I'm going to use this brown color. Even though these highlighters look like they have some different colors in them, once they're applied they all look the same. And for lips, I'm going to go with kind of like a lip gloss almost. This is the Elme, um, I believe it's the Raspberry. It's Elme Ideal Lip Color in Raspberry. And it looks like this. It kind of feels like a, a tinted lip balm. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's really quick and simple, something to do for your everyday. And I will talk to you all again. Bye.